Governor, as reached at the train station, Sri Ananda Bose, who had already said and uh, that hooliganism, gundas, will not be permitted to continue in the state of Bengal. While speaking to India today earlier, he had mentioned that they are going to ensure peace prevails. But this is big, remember. This is the governor of the state himself going to the location to visit, not leaving to a secondary report to be heard, but the governor himself landing at the train station. The train station in Hooghly is important because in Rishra there were stones felted at the train, at the moving trains, which meant the train services had to be halted. Passengers faced a lot of inconvenience, and there was no clear reason for the pelting of those stones of the trains. We are trying to get a reaction. Commotion there. Remember, it's a, it's a big development that the governor of the state has landed up at the location to try and ascertain. He's uh, expected to speak in just a short while. All right. He's asking all the media persons with a clap to, to take a pause, take a breather before he starts to speak. There are other locals also in that area. Remember, uh, C.B. Anand the Bose, the governor, had taken over from Jagdeep Dhankar, who is now the vice president of the country, and uh, Raj Sabha chairperson as well. But this is what is important to understand, that right now, that uh, for the governor, he's already been visiting. He had to even cut short his visit to some areas, but he's landed up at the train station. And we will, of course, uh, be listening to what he has to say amid tightened security of the state police senior officers, special security around the governor. Let's listen in to what he's saying. The first, I will see, analyze, decide, and then there will be action, solid action from the part of all law enforcement agencies. We will never allow the miscreants, the hooligans and the goons to take the law into their hands. The police will come down heavily on them. These dark forces, forces of evil, will be brought to book. We will dare them in the den. People of Bengal have a right for peaceful living. That right will be established. Bengal has been suffering this kind of criminalization of politics for a long time. There we will put a final end to it. In this, there is no political differences. The government of India, the state government, political parties, the media, the common men, the silent majority will all join hands and see that mobocracy is rooted out in this democratic land. We see this as a result of those who have connived against India, the break India brigade, and those who are working against this nation to destabilize it, and also to see that Arthur and Dukhar Bharat, which our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi has declared, they are trying to prevent it. Arthur and Dukhar Bharat also includes Arthur and Dukhar Bengal. We will strive together, we will root out the forces of evil, the Lucifer's, the Mammons, we will certainly see they have no place in society. Peace will be established. Peace will be established. Criminals will be put behind bars. And never ever will this be allowed to open this noble state. All right, so that's a very stern statement, a strong statement coming in from Bengal Governor C.V. Anand Bose. He said, we will not tolerate this gundaism of any kind. That's a very clear statement. Uh, no political comment coming in from uh, the Bengal Governor, not targeting Chief Minister or any other statement. We're being very clear about the situation that needs to be brought under control. Let's go across to Suragni Roy, who's uh, on location right now. Suragni, this is very uh, similar to what uh, he had told you also a few days ago when he had said, will not tolerate any kind of mobocracy, will ensure that peace prevails. Where is he exactly right now? Uh, what is the situation like? Tell us, Suragni. Well, uh, you know, he's, he's still at uh, the Rishra railway station right now. 
and uh, uh, rightly mentioned Pooja, if we just remember, uh, he categorically mentioned that he will not tolerate mobocracy, um, mobocracy uh, 24 hours back when we had an exclusive conversation with him, uh, and uh, you know, uh, and he was very categorical when he said that you know he will make sure that political violence ends in this particular state, and everyone who's behind any kind of violence and mob-related issues will not be. Uh, you know, spared. He was very, very on the face. And uh, uh, but one thing, you know, like the, the what you mentioned that he he was not critical of the chief minister or any other political party. Uh, I re I clearly remember Pooja. I had asked him that uh, various political party leaders and representatives have been trying to visit. Uh, 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 you know, b b b b locations where violence had broken out. Uh, I asked him in the context that Shukanta Majumdar, who was also stopped at this particular location 24 hours back and he scheduled to come over here, he was also stopped in Howrah, if you remember. And I had asked him in that context. Uh, he, he mentioned to me, b what he mentioned to me was very, very simple, that it is not the time to make a comment on who's going where and what one wants to do. The first thing that needs to be done is that the rule of law should be established and uh, 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 you know, and peace uh, be brought back uh, anyhow. That is what he had mentioned then, 24 hours back to us. And today, you know, when he spoke to uh, uh, Suryagini, stay on with me the, uh, because joining me on the phone line right now is Bengal's Minister Shashi Panja. Ma'am, appreciate you speaking to India Today Television. So the governor cut shots his visit, ensures he's at the station. But uh, what is the situation like? Because this is not a clash. This is just miscreants indulging in vandalism at the station. You see, it's very unfortunate. I mean, uh, even, uh, let me just give you a data which is very important, that in Howrah also, the Ram Navami procession, uh, which showed uh, this guy, and we had, you know, flagged this videos in a press conference, brandishing the pistol. And, of course, the others brandishing the talwars and so Now, when we flagged this video through a press conference, BJP denied it. Today, the fellows, his, this guy's name is Sumit Shao, and uh, he, was, he had escaped to Munger, Bihar. He has been arrested. He is a resident of Salkia, Howrah district. And he has confessed, yes, I was in the procession uh, carrying this... Picture. Violence at and the uh, railway station has nothing to do with the Ram Navmi procession or the BJP. These are miscreants. Why are you saying... Are you alleging this is also done by the BJP? The thing is, this is how BJP provokes and rumours. And similarly... On the same lines, Hooghly was also along with the same script. The script is a similar script of a deep-rooted conspiracy by the BJP. Now, what we are saying is, as our Honorable Chief Minister also mentioned, Ram Navami running uh, for five days at a row, and without permission, and with diversion, without my, uh, listening to any guidelines. There were guidelines given even by the Chandranagar Police Commissioner. Everything is violated. Uh, arson and police, uh, 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 you know, vehicles lit it up. The idea is to again, uh, you know, uh, malign Bengal and to say there's no law and order. Then uh, today the governor or even the state administration has clamped down and taken all uh, steps. Yes. So it's, law and order has to be restored. That is the duty, our duty. But similarly, when people from the opposition take out processions, they also have to refrain from provocative remarks Radical remarks which Dilip Ghosh was doing the other day. What was the idea? Are you saying, are you are you saying that BJP Bengal had put out a video saying that uh, Abhishek Banerjee was spreading fake news and that uh, this was not a video even not from that Ram Naomi procession? Are you saying this was from that procession in Bengal? Is that that particular video which Abhishek Banerjee had shown in his press conference yes. on the day post for Ram Naomi, which BJP says is fake? That particular fellow who was shown in the video with the pistol has been arrested, who has today confessed to Howrah police, yes, I am. Uh, I was in the procession and I was brandishing that uh, pistol. So it is not a fake video. So these, these people are the protagonists and uh, those who propagate uh, BJP, uh, propagate uh, fake videos and fake news. This was not fake. It has been proven today and even uh, Hoogli. Okay, okay. Sorry,
this, but this incident apart, I come back to the train station where the governor is right now. That had nothing to do with procession. If you are encouraging miscreants, because the allegation against your government, Ms. Shashi Panja, is that you are appeasing one community, you are constantly blaming the Hindu community or the BJP or the Ram Navmi procession, but you are not taking action against, let's say, members of the Muslim community who are indulging in stone pelting or vandalism. That's also an allegation against you, your government, basically. We will, we will not divide against. Uh, uh, amongst Hindu and Muslim. That is not the narrative. Even we were observing Navratri as Hindus and even Muslims are observing Ramzan and Ramadan and doing their fast. Navratri, we fasted, they are also fasting. So it is communal harmony in which these people want to disrupt. So when uh, uh, when you curtail in one area, there's somebody who spreads it out. Why should it be at all Hindu-Muslim? Hmm. There is no Hindu-Muslim. These people are miscreant. And any miscreant belonging to any religion, caste or language will be arrested if he has disturbed or, you know, uh, caused uh, uh, this situation. But do you assure today on India Today Television that irrespective of community, name, any sort of attachment to the government or not, party or not, religion or not, will be taken to task if found indulging in the vandalism that we have seen in Bengal lately? We have done this in the past, this will be done in the future and will be done today too. They will not be spared. There's no, don't look at the names and surnames, it doesn't matter. They are miscreants and they will be brought to book. And finally ma'am, because it's between the TMC and the BJP largely right now, there is of course this sort of narrative war that the BJP is also building, saying that your, uh, your party is light on one uh, miscreant community, not on another, that is what they are alleging. What do you say to the BJP today, now that that video uh, that the BJP shared said, it's not even from the Ram Navmi procession. What do you say to the BJP right now, uh, now that the man has been arrested? See, this is the politics between politics of appeasement versus politics over religious uh, polarization. We will appease people through development work, not mm. through, not because of any religion. So that is the narrative that they are building. Uh, they are, it's quite well known all over. Imagine there are 100 incidents all over the country. Are we to question even Gujarat, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Jharkhand, Bihar, that, okay, your state governments also failed to contain, then we need to question all of them. But... Here in Bengal, if I have not won, which they have not won, in, uh, the, uh, uh, in the elections in 2021, and since then they have started this. So mm -hmm. nothing for, works for Bengal. You see, they do not even fight for Bengal for the funds which are due. But they will continue to malign. So uh, this is the most unfortunate part. Ashi Panja, if you can just stay on with me, because joining me right now is BJP's uh, Sukanto Majumdar, and I want to take your point to him. Mr. Majumdar, you are sharing videos one after another, but here, your minister in the government the, from the TMC is saying the man has been arrested, and he says he was a part of the procession. Who has been arrested, I don't know, but I would like to just remind all of you that the bomb has been thrown from the masjid on Ram Navami, how many people belonging to those communities or those areas, those fanatic groups? I am not commenting about any religious community. Those fanatic groups, how many people have been arrested? Now, Governor, Honorable Governor of West Bengal is visiting the area and the media, all media have been departed to follow him. So what is the thing police want to hide? I don't know. The West Bengal uh, administration is trying to hide something that happened inside the Rishta. That's why they are not allowing... But Bengal's the, minister, uh, Shashi Panja, is also saying that it's the BJP provoking. It's because of BJP's provocations allegedly. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead, Shashi Panja. Ma'am, uh, the day the, day the Hukli procession took place, it was spearheaded by Dilip Ghosh, who, is, who, uh, who uh, actually uh, spoke radically and also provocative statements. Sukanto Majumdar ji, who is the state president, after the Haura incident said, and this is rumor mongering, when he says, I don't know what's going to happen in Haura. I mean, he you know, is speculating, which is creating a lot of rumors. Let so, him answer then. Let, 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 let him answer Sukanto no, Majumdar. Rumor, rumor, and he is rumor, videos are available, videos are available, videos are available, people are suffering from the wounds, and the things are happening, maybe Dilip Ghosh, has not issued any kind of uh, provoking uh, statement there. The bomb comes from the area 
of a particular community, the fanatic people, go charge the bomb over the uh, procession of Ram Naomi in the frontal part. In that part, Dilip Ghosh was yes. not present even. Shashi Panja, so Kanto Majumdar is asking, the, how many people have been arrested? What is simple question, ma'am? What is the role of pistols and swords hmm. in a Ram Navami procession? What is the role? And why is Ram Navami procession also happening three days after Ram Navami? In the Ramgar. No, no. In the, in the, so in the, why, the why can't you observe guidelines? Why can't we celebrate both the festivals with equal gusto and equal harmony? Shashi Panja, Sukanto Majumdar is also asking, how many people have been arrested? Have you even taken action against those who have indulged in stone pelting from the top? You need, you need to take the data from the police if you hmm. really wish to know that how many Hindus and Muslims have been arrested. For us, miscreants have been arrested. We are not looking at what religion they belong to. If they are miscreants, they are a miscreant. Those hmm. who lit up the police vehicles, those who resorted to vandalism and arson, those any stone pelting, everybody will be arrested and we, it is cutting across all religious names and communities. And Shashi Panja, I don't have Sukhandu Majumdar right now with me, but I do Thank have a you. question. Eventually it is you. your government. Eventually it is your government, ma'am. You have all sort of machinery. You can keep blaming the BJP, but the fact is you can ensure everything is in place. Send out as much police force as you can uh, and ensure that peace prevails. Then, But when this happens, you say the BJP is doing it. No, no, no. You see, you need to find out who the, uh, uh, the conspirator is. So that is one, uh, one side. State, respons state is responsible for law and order? Definitely so. And that is why this incident which had happened last year too, in that particular area this time, four sets of guidelines were given. That if we can stay by this, it's very easy to contain everything. And it is not Delhi, Jahangir, Puri that we will ban. Neither are we as government which runs bulldozers. So we are, all processions will be allowed. So, uh, but if there is a party, a res, uh, irresponsible opposition, which is constantly going to create a law and order disturbances, we have to blame them. They have to take the blame. All right, Shashi Panja, Bengal minister, says this is all being provoked by the BJP. The question on the government is how much can they control? Thank you so much, Shashi Panja, for speaking to India Today Television. Sukanto Majumdar said, we are not doing any rumor mongering. This is the government that's unable to control and they deliberately have to, they have these people and a minority appeasement on the basis of which stones are pelted. The visuals are for you to see. Look at these visuals on your screen. Stones being pelted. This is a mob. These are miscreants. Now, the Bengal minister says, don't get into religion. Uh, we will deal with everyone irrespective. But the fact is, on surface, it looks like a communal clash. Who's responsible? Eventually, who will take responsibility? Is this the dirty politics at play as well? Amid all this, remember, Bengal Governor C.V. Anandabos was in Darjeeling for a G20 meeting. He cut short his visit to return to the state, of which he's been appointed the governor. He landed up at the railway station where there was stone pelting. Here's what the governor had to say. This visit is a fact finding, data gathering, verification visit. I can assure you that first I will see, analyze, assess, decide, and then there will be action, solid action from the part of all law enforcement agencies. We will never allow the miscreants, the hooligans and the goons to take the law into their hands. The police will come down heavily on them. These dark forces, forces of evil, will be brought to book. We will dare them in the den. People of Bengal have a right for peaceful living. That right will be established. Bengal has been suffering this kind of criminalization of politics for a long time. There we will put a final end to it. India today is on the ground right now uh, where this violence and vandalism has taken place. Suryagni Roy is uh, telling us all the latest about it. Suryagni, Hugli and then Havra. Now the governor cut short his visit to Darjeeling and returns to the station. But what is the on-ground status right now? Because TMC says BJP is provoking, BJP says TMC is unable to handle. We see these visuals and it's terrifying for a mob to land up 
and spell stones, indulge in vandalism and arson? Has the government even arrested enough people to ensure an example is set? Pooja, if I just speak of uh, Hooghly only, uh, you know, for more than 40 people have been arrested. That is what, uh, uh, you know, b b the data says, that 40 people have been arrested in, in relation to the violence that has happened over here in Hooghly. And if I speak of Howrah, 38 people were arrested. Uh, now, you know, b uh, the blame game, the political blame game keeps on continuing. However, be it Hooghly or Howrah, uh, as, you know, I mentioned a while back, the locals are the ones who have been suffering the most and the... Uh, it's, it's, you know, the, it's, it's these people who bear the brunt of, uh, of this political warfare. Now, uh, thankfully, you know, Pooja, uh, since morning the situation has been uh, pretty calm. There hasn't been any reports of any untoward incident over here uh, and in Howrah as well. Thankfully, But, but Suryagini, what are you hearing? Been, what uh, happened peaceful. at the railway station? Uh, it didn't look like uh, on the surface as a communal clash, just some miscreants uh, vandalizing and pelting stones at the train. Did you, did you get some prima facie evidence or, or information about what unfolded at the train station? Stay, stay on with me, Suryagini, for now because we have some more details coming in. The minister said, get the data. India today has the data now. And I want to tell our viewers right now, amid the massive crackdown that's taking place, officially... 50 people have been taken into arrest in the Hooghly violence so far. 12 people were arrested on the first day itself with regard to connection in the case at the Rishra police station. Nearly about 40 more have been arrested yesterday. So there are rounds of questioning and detentions uh, that are taking place. There was another case registered at the Sri Rampur police station and Rishra police station as well. These are sources in the Bengal police that are telling us. I want to go across to Suryagini for now. Suryagini, like you were also telling us in Hooghly, 50 people arrested. But... My point is they'll have to set an example to ensure vandalism does not return. Specifically not at a railway station with passengers who have nothing to do with Bengal even sometimes. Well, firstly, Pooja, one thing that needs to be, you know, uh, understood uh, that uh, the, uh, you know, no attack as per se happened at the railway station. It would happen at the, at the gate near the railway station. So this is something that, you know, we, uh, you know, we, uh, we saw today morning as well. And there were remnants of broken glasses, of, you know, bricks and, uh, uh, you know, some arson. We could see even in our walkthroughs, it's pretty visible that something was, you know, put on fire. But thankfully, no railway property was damaged, no train was, you know, uh, no, no stones were pelted on any uh, uh, train and thankfully no passenger was, uh, you know, b b injured. One very important aspect of this entire development that had happened that the railway decided that, you know, they will halt the trains. So, uh, the trains were halted at uh, Rishra and Uttar Uttarpara railway stations uh, and they were stopped from moving forward towards Chandanagar and Sri Rampur, the uh, you know, to make sure that nothing happens on the railway, you know, b if there is a violence happening at the railway tracks, nothing happens on, you know, on the, on, on the trains, and especially the people who are inside the trains. So that was a very, very, you know, b uh, smart move by the railway. They halted the, uh, you know, the trains so that no untoward incident ha or, an, uh, or an attack or such happens on the trains or the people who were inside the, those particular trains. For three hours, they were halted at the Rishra and uh, Uttarpara railway stations. Um, but, you know, coming back to your point, yes, uh, the violence, the remnants of the violence that I saw today morning, you know, they were pretty horrific. Uh, uh, what led to it, who were behind it, is something that is still not known. Only an investigation which is still on will tell us what exactly happened and why Suryagini, the question is keep tracking the why and keep getting uh, more information from the sources on the ground as well. Suryagini is in Hooghly right now. There have been constant reactions that we have get, got uh, from the Netas. Here's what our politicians have to say. Bengal is the only state for now where beyond Ram Navmi processions also there has been violence, vandalism, arson, stone pelting has been seen. Listen into reactions. This is Ram Navmi ke din par jo haura mein jo hua tha, incident jo hua tha, uspe एक लड़का देखा गया भाजपा के जुलूस में वो वीपन रिवॉल्वर कैरी कर रहा था तो किस लिए रामनवमी के दिन पर किस लिए ये जो प्रोवोकेशन ये जो गोलमाल करने का जो प्लॉट है भाजपा का वो तो एस्टेब्लिश्ड हो रहा था
तो भाजपा का ये जो प्लॉट है भाजपा का जो कंस्पिरेसी है ये अभी सामने आ गया है सुमित अरेस्ट होने के बाद नहीं ऐसे या तो कोई केंद्रीय एजेंसी है जांच हो तो निष्पक्ष जांच होने से पता चल जाए कौन दोषी है हम तैयार हैं सब जांच के लिए अब बाकी लोग घबराते क्यों हैं इसका मतलब दाल में कुछ काला है माइनॉरिटी वाला उनका खिलाफ चल जा रहा है सागोदिगी इलेक्शन में तो आ, आ गया सबका साथ सामने इसलिए रोकने के लिए वहां जीतने के लिए पंचायत चुनाव में उसके काम करने के लिए वो सभी का जानता है कौन किया उनका फिर लूटने के लिए उनका पीछे दबाव करेंगे जो तुम्हारा एक केस है मेरे पास फोटो भी है इसलिए तुम वोट लूटने वाला काम करो नहीं तो जेल में डाल देंगे इसलिए एक एक फंड बना रहा है प्लान एंड बीजेपी यू वांट इट बिकॉज नेक्स्ट पंचायत इलेक्शन इज कमिंग इफ बिफोर द पंचायत इलेक्शन एक बीजेपी एंड तृणमूल इज सक्सेसफुल in creating a communal tension in bengal hindu and muslim are divided both think they will gain and last it is spreading from howra to hugli and it is not only that all over india gujarat bihar and different parts of the country 